Hello Flight Sim fans. This is coming from Headwind H, creator of New Greenland Custom Scenery for X-Plane. This is an introduction of Headwind's Greenland Custom Scenery Packages versions 1.1 for X-Plane and their companion libraries coming to xplane.org soon in late 2020. The libraries will be named Headwind Greenland Library and Headwind Water Tower Library. We will get to today's video in a few minutes. Meanwhile, while I am giving this introduction, we will show some local Wichita, Kansas screenshots. Unless you have already watched some of these videos, and judging by the view counts so far, you have not, you won't know that the headwind videos are snippets of low-altitude X-plane flights over Kansas, previewing new headwind scenery packages and libraries for X-plane 11. Sceneries and libraries will be free to download soon from xplane.org. Thousands of original 3D objects were created by me, Headwind H, for the libraries. Those objects are found in the scenery in towns, cities, and rural areas all over Kansas and near the border all around Kansas and a bit farther into western Missouri. 3D items like water towers, iconic buildings, schools, athletic fields, utility buildings, grain elevators and systems, etc. are shown in and around Kansas. Many items in the libraries contain several choices of type, size, color, and tall tower lighting configurations. There are even a few dinosaurs. Virtually every tall lighted tower over 200 feet high that is charted on the area's two sectionals is modeled in the scenery. If it shows on the Kansas City or Wichita sectional charts in and around Kansas, at least as of October 2020, it should show in your scenery. I created these scenery packages because X-Plane default scenery just does not show many 3D objects in the areas not located near airports and larger towns in flyover country. The headwind scenery packs that will be available very soon are Headwind Scenery Wichita Metro, Headwind Greenland Wind Farms, Headwind Scenery Wichita Sectional which covers the western two-thirds of Kansas and Headwind Scenery Kansas City Sectional which covers eastern Kansas and several miles into Missouri. These scenery packs will be available for download in xplane.org's download section as soon as they can be uploaded this late fall season, 2020. Users will be free to download and use and or edit these libraries and their objects for non-commercial use without restrictions or permission. Right now, let me give thanks for the thanks from those who will use the Grainland packages. But realistic orthographic overlays for the Kansas area are seen in these videos. Ortho overlays are not part of headwind scenery packages. I use Ortho 4 XP and enjoy the added immersion that the overlays give. Users will not see the ground detail seen in these videos during gameplay unless they use their own overlays. The Greenland sceneries look good with X-Plane default scenery and even better in combo with Ortho overlays. Above 5,000 feet or so above ground level it's hard to see the difference between orthographic overlays and 3D objects. In my humble opinion, the Greenland scenery looks realistic compared to the default scenery. I prefer X-Plane over other sims due to realistic flight models, aircraft, and navigation systems. Many hundreds of people have contributed thousands of accurate and attractive airports that look and feel like the real thing when flying to and from them. I enjoy the added immersion to the simulator experience that custom scenery and ortho overlays add to X-Plane. Finally. We have made it to the video. I promise. The next videos will have a short introduction. The video we are going to see here is to show off some of the Greenland library objects and gives glimpses of the headwind scenery Wichita Metro package from a low altitude flight around Wichita in X-Plane's S-76 helicopter. We saw earlier during the introduction, a few before and after screenshots of downtown, comparing Greenland scenery to X-Plane's default scenery. In the video, we take off from Westport which is under Eisenhower's traffic pattern in West Wichita. South from Westport we circle back and continue northeast over the iconic buildings of downtown, turn north, passing over an industrial area which contains several large grain elevator systems. From the grain elevators we go east over Wichita State University, the Shockers, then continue toward Jabara Airport. Then south over Beach Airport and McConnell Air Force Base, 
continuing to the town of Derby and its dinosaur park. Take a quick look at the dinosaurs around the park. From Derby we go west, then northwest, back over Westport, take a peek at Eisenhower and turn back northeast over downtown again, to land at the Via Christi, formerly St. Francis, Hospital Helipad. That will be enough fun for one video. Look for more coming soon in a series intended to give folks a preview of flying low altitude over Kansas in X plane using Greenland scenery. For the moment, there is little custom scenery available for the area outside the larger airports. I hope many of you give Greenland scenery a try and that it enhances your simulator flying enjoyment. If you like it, spread the word. I hope that some will use the libraries to create and share their own custom scenery in more of flyover country. Happy viewing. While you are at watching, happy listening too. Enjoy the background music which comes from a sample of both free and premium, royalty free music downloaded from DL Sounds. www.dl-sounds.com During coming videos, we will try to offer a variety of clips from DL Sounds vast music and sound library. Headwind saying, ta-ta for now.